Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Pereira and today I'm going to show you how to use deep links. So don't leave and learn Minux with me. You can create and use deep links in two different ways. The first one is by using it on microflows and the second option is to activate through pages. In this first example, I'm going to show you how to use it the microflow so let's start to use deep links via microflow it's very simple you just need to add a parameter to your microflow so let's select parameter double click and here you are going to select the object you want to receive so in my case i'm going to select request double click click ok and now if you click on the blank area of the microflow you can see on the general area of the properties of the microflow a field called url so let's select and here you can configure it, your deep link to access this microflow so here you can see we, we already have a prefix with the p and then have a slash and now in this field you can create your link however you want so in my case, I'm going to just write request slash, and now I'm going to add a curly bracket and now select request. And here I'm going to receive the name of the request I want to show. As you can see, now we have a microflow parameter here of the, the object request, and we are going to retrieve it by the, the name. If you want to have more than one here, you are free to do it. You just need to add one more slash and then you configure the other parameters. So let's delete this part and just go with one. So click OK. And now you have one object that you can use for wherever you want. So for this example, I'm going to change the value of one of the attributes, the request object. So to do it, I'm going to drag and drop the change object activity double click now as an object i'm going to select the request click in new and now select the member value and now i'm going to insert the value 5 so this means when the user access this microflow using this deep link the request object will always have the value 5 so click ok and now we can open the page we want to see this object drag and drop the show page activity double click select the page you want to use so in my case i'm going to use the request new edit double click and click ok we can also add a show message activity saying that we came from the microflow just to make sure that that everything is working correctly so in the, on the template, you can write from microflow and click OK. Go to the properties, allow roles, click on the, your user role and click OK. Now you can go to URL, click here to copy URL, click OK and, and click to run your server. Click to view app. And now you can log in as an MX admin. As you can see, I have a few requests here. And I'm going to search one using the deep link we just created. So you can go to the URL and just use the URL we just copy. So paste it. And now let's change the last part of the URL. So Let's use the test, so the first request. So let's replace it with test. And as you can see, it's a redirect to the new request page with the value 5 and with the show message saying from Microflow. So 
it's working perfect and now let's see the second option let's create a deep link using directly a page so go back to your studio now select the page you want to use as a test for this tutorial i'm going to use the request overview so double click and here i'm going to the properties on the right side and as you can see you have the same field here so url and if we click on these fields you can see that is exactly the same thing but now we are going to create a deep link without a parameter so if you want you can use it again but just to have another example i'm i'm going to do it without one so in this page i'm going to just write overview so every time we write overview on the url we are going to be redirect to the overview page so click ok and now run the server again so let's go back to the browser now go to your url and replace with p slash overview so as you can see it is working and probably you are asking why we are using p so this is the default value from the studio so let's go back to url fields you can see at the beginning of this url you always have the prefix p but we can change it so go to the settings of your project select the runtime tab and here you can define the prefix you can change it from p to link or or just keep it empty so you can insert wherever you want thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave the like and i hope to see you soon bye bye